Okay, here's some uh, overall shots of what I got so far for the uh, dip pack dolly steering mechanism deal. Uh, that's a grade 8 bolt. That's a little retainer for the bolt head to keep the bolt from swiveling. This is the steering, the, the center steering bar. This one over on the left here connects to uh, the main steering bar that connects to two casters. This one goes to the pivot and this one is for the handle. The pull handle would attach here approximately in a square right very close to this about here. I haven't cut this short yet. That black line there is where it would touch the floor when the handle's all the way down flat to the floor. So that's the mark I can't exceed. And uh, I want to when you tighten, this is not a permanent nut. I'm going to use a uh, self-locker on this here. So uh, this clearance here, from here to there, the pivots now. But let me show you some close-ups. I want the bolt to be stationary, and I want the uh, I want the pivot. I want it to. Uh, I want this part to move on the bolt. I want the bolt to be stationary. So this goes there and then this lock nut goes on the other end of it. It's one of those old lock nuts with the brown insert. And uh, it's probably more of a uh, it's probably more of a weldment than I actually needed and the materials I used were probably heavier than I needed to use. But hey, they're what I had around, okay? So yeah, this goes on there and uh, and by the way, I didn't drill this center hole in a lathe. I drilled it in, in my uh, drill press. And uh, then I measured it with a dial caliper. Try to get the... Try to get it... Uh, it's pretty much square. Actually, uh, the hole's off center by about 12 thousandths. I measured it all the way around. But uh, fortunately, it's off center uh, the same amount equally. So the hole is straight through in other words. Uh, the, the hole is parallel to the exterior part of the tu of this tube. However, it's not in the center. At least it's not leaning, which isn't too bad on my drill press because I had to guess. Um, I had to actually shim up one end of the, <laughs> of the, of the drill press vise with a piece of cardboard because my drill press uh, table isn't square uh, to the chuck but anyway yeah um, so that's the deal and uh, I welded this all up with my dial arc my eBay dial arc and uh, you know this is for the um, for the uh, dip pack MIG welder and uh, yeah let me show you this thing here this is I call it my universal joint yoke but it's really not see um, this thing I guess you probably know by now but this goes on there the idea being that this can go up, but it cannot go past down. Uh, you're looking at the bottom now, of course, okay? The general idea being that the, when I tighten the bolt up, it's going to squeeze these sides together, maybe two or three thousandths of an inch, which I know I've already tried, and it works excellent. Uh, this is three sixteenths by one flat bar. It'll pull the sides in enough to make this be tight. Uh, and I wanted it to be very tight, but still movable when I'm pulling on the uh, approximately two and a half foot long handle. So I could swing the handle down for steering purposes and then push it back up and it'll stay up uh, when I'm using the welder and when I'm storing the welder out in the back of the garage and blah, blah, blah. I'll also be able to uh, hopefully uh, clear all the crap on the front of the... Uh, on the front of the dip pack MIG, although um, at this point in time it's kind of problematic whether that's going to happen or not, but I think it will, uh, or pretty much will anyway. But uh, this goes like that, this, it pivots like that, and uh, with luck we'll have a nice dolly when we're done. So yeah, this is where we are so far on the uh, on the dip pack uh, on the dip pack welder uh, dolly uh, fabrication department scenario for the uh, 
for the 90s and beyond, as I like to say, seeing as we're already beyond the 90s. And, uh, you know, uh, we use what we got laying around, and uh, it's in the primer stage now. And today I expect to, uh, if I can find my tube, I have this huge honking tube of silicone grease. I don't know where it is, but I'm, <laughs> I'm looking high and low for that damn crap. But, uh, yeah, I, I want to use uh, silicone uh, lube on those FRP, those fiberglass reinforced plastic wheels, instead of using, uh, you know, petroleum-based lubes uh, on those because I'm afraid petroleum-based lubes may uh, deteriorate the plastic. But uh, I got plenty of petroleum-based lubes, but... Uh, but I'd rather not use it on those FRP uh, to big rear wheels. Uh, so I'm still looking for that. But anyway, yeah, uh, back to the subject. Uh, this, is, uh, this is my welding and, uh, you know, my fabrication so far. It's a little bit uglier. It's all done with a stick welder so far, my big, my big old honking dial arc. And, you know, there's a little bit of slag here and there. But, hey, you know, it's, uh, for the most part, it should be uh, pretty solid, you know. It'll hang together. Hmm? Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, right. This is the uh, steering end of the dial arc. Uh, not the dial arc, but the uh, the dip pack dolly. And uh, what I got so far, I've welded the casters on. And uh, this goes all the way over that way, or it'll go all the way over this way. Let me stick that other bar on there and show you how that works. But uh, yeah, we're outdoors now, and uh, it's going to work, I think. It's an Ackerman deal. I'll show you the other end. <laughs> 